Like it or not, we all eat bugs on a somewhat regular basis. Um, just because of the fact that they get into our food supply. That'll get your attention. These moths got the attention of Customs and Border Protection at Detroit Metro Airport, the first encounter with this species since it was described in 1912. Their larvae or baby versions were tucked inside a sack of seeds inside a passenger's luggage inbound from the Philippines. Apparently the seed pods used in medicinal tea. Invasive species, so species from other parts of the globe that don't naturally belong here, get brought in all the time on all kinds of commodities. The seeds intercepted by agents, larvae later hatching and analyzed. They're in the Paralidae family. Entomologist Mark Vanderwerp says they're in the same family as the Indian meal moth, which are common in Michigan. And this new intercepted moth is nowhere close to the level of pestiferousness as the Indian meal moth. I am quite confident. Invasive species are no joke. Just look at stink bugs probably in or around your house right now. Originally from Asia taking over here at home in less than a decade. Lots of stuff gets introduced into the country and it doesn't do well. But every so often, you know, we've seen it with things like the brown marmorated stink bug. That thing really only took, I think, about eight years to spread basically throughout the entire Midwest. This is why Customs and Border Protection says when entering the U.S., you have to claim things like fruits, vegetables, and plants. Are they going to spread? Are they going to infest new items? Are they going to become a, an agricultural pest? And so it is a very big concern to just be willy-nilly bringing species uh, into new countries. Jessica Dupnap, Fox 2 News.